Hey, let's talk about games. Hello there my friend, welcome back, Hydra here and today I'm talking to you about some of the forthcoming maps for Inquisitor Marty because we've had a few previews now and we've seen some footage, we've got a few mini videos, some thumbnails, some clips here and there and I'm just here to sort of bring all that together and make it a little bit easier for you to find. Now all of this stuff is courtesy of Megabull who is, well yes you'll probably know him as the Steam Forum moderator, Discord ship poster and a general map making guy used to do a few videos um, here and there but currently neck deep in creating maps and that's what we've been watching him do during his working day so we've had a few couple hour long streams of him designing these maps and that's what we're going to go through so let's bring up one of the first small little videos that he's created and this is of the hive city now it's, I believe, nearly finished, maybe not 100% of the way there, but to me it looks absolutely amazing. And the reason I'm so excited for a lot of these map changes is not only do I feel like the aesthetic is really being sort of funneled and tunneled down the 40k grimdark setting, but I also really like the new layout to most of these. As almost all of the, I think, four new maps that we've had a little preview of, they all look a lot more open. They all look a lot less corridor based. Granted, they're still on sort of tile systems and have networks of uh, corridors leading to each other in some cases, but they're a lot wider, they're a lot bigger, there's room to maneuver left or right. So you could probably um, choose which packs you pull as you maneuver through there. To me, these look a lot more like ARPG maps and maps I'm looking forward to playing on. So, super excited and once more, a big shout out to these massive um, Hive City structures in the background on this map. I think they look absolutely wicked. Now, moving on from here, we also have what I think I can only really describe as a, a Warzone map of sorts. Now, this is um, without or this is pre-lighting changes. So if you're probably wondering, well, this isn't quite so grim dark Hydra. Well, as far as I'm aware, uh, in, no, in actual fact, Megaball had said he's not yet done the sort of daytime lighting effects. I believe this one will be at night and there's no sort of additional flames burning and things like that and other light sources. But you can certainly see, I mean, we've got a crashed, I believe that's a Thunderhawk here. Um, we have a lot of sort of scatter and such which is what well, I can really say just looks like direct ports in from miniatures models etc we got some cargo containers we've got lots of random little bits of cover and this looks like it's the sort of the shell map that the Titan sorry the knight was playing on I nearly did it again and um, so it looks like this has really really moved along a little bit now I believe this is the scale down sort of one man four man version and there will be another version which is going to be for your knight to be sort of ruffle stomping around on but to me these images look really really nice I'm super happy I'm looking forward to a little bit more grime and dirt being added to this one because while I, I really like the look of it shout out to the little drop pod there as well and a little banner that I can't quite read but looks absolutely amazing I can only hope that in the background of this there's going to be a lot of um, war zone fights and, and sort of sound effects things like that little explosions in the background that make you feel like you know you're part of something sort of big going on because it looks like a battlefield let's be fair here we got some some ammo crates a drop pod it this this looks like an ongoing war zone very very excited heck maybe even this is tied to the quote unquote end game war zone feature god only knows sorry emperor only knows moving on from here and this picture really deserves um a little bit of attention this is what I can only say is a revamp of the current catwalk map. Now, obviously many people not too fond of the actual mini catwalks. However, um, now look at it. Jesus, that is some pretty looking background candy there. I, I'm not entirely sure what's changed. I think just textures have been changed. Um, and so it, looks, it looks like a lot of things have been recolored as well, aka just texture changes, but looking a lot better. Cracking job, my son. So this map, while it's my least favorite, primarily because I'm just bored of the horrible green fog, 
has had a pretty big revamp. I'm really looking forward to actually testing it out and having a good snoop around. And of course, moving on to the next image, I need to give a little bit of a shout out to the industrial setting. We've got a little bit of a torture chamber here, and we'll just bring up some footage of Megapool walking through this. So this is, and yes, you will realize it is sort of based on the archetype of the space station because, well, it's 40K, it's a space station. I guess space stations are all gonna look somewhat similar. I can forgive that, but it has its own, uh, I'd say color scheme. It has its own sort of more of a, grey black sort of vibe obviously with hazard stripes and things like that but for me also looking a lot more open than a lot of the previous maps we can see him wandering around and it's looking a lot more I'm gonna say playable it just looks like something I would like to play an ARPG on I'm really looking forward to these maps and you know what I honestly believe that the feedback from the players has been noted because for no no more Shall there be these awkward little corridors between every single room? Well, there may be some of the old maps there, let's be realistic, but it certainly looks like most of the new maps, if not all of the new maps, are big, they're open, they're ARPG-type maps, and no more of these bloody corridors. So hats off, and I have to say to Megapool, um, pat on the shoulder to you, my friend. These maps are looking bitching. So guys, really looking forward to obviously the beta coming out on Monday. Get yourself geared up, get yourself ready, not in terms of in-game because there's going to be a wipe, but you know, get yourself psyched up. I don't know, read some audiobooks or listen to audiobooks, read some books. I don't know, just get your head in the game or maybe watch some of the tutorials that I've done. Maybe they'll be helpful to help you level up a little bit quicker. Who knows? Guys, have yourself a fantastic weekend. I'll be seeing you with some beta footage on Monday, and then I'll be seeing you, hopefully, or talking to you later in the week with some final game footage from the upcoming NeoCore Press event. Guys, take care, have yourself a fantastic weekend.